what's going on with lumber, huh? I don't understand. Nobody wants to buy it anymore. Carts are all lined up. I've never seen this. In all the years I've been coming to these places, there's always somebody in here with these. Gee, I can't imagine why. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get some lumber, boy, because I got work to do. You want me to get that gold, don't you? Well, that means I got to get lumber. What's more valuable, the gold or the lumber? You leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about that, boy, huh? Wow, two by 10 by 10, Doug Furs. Woo-wee. Two by 12 by 10. Woo-wee. Now I know why there's nobody in here. <laughs> it's craziness. Why is it so crazy? I don't understand. Ooh, top choice two by fours. I wonder how much those are. Oh yeah! What about the Hampton? Oh yeah! Okay, what about the, the little tiny pieces of wood you use for the fireplace? Oh yeah! Ooh, that looks like a good piece, huh? Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, that's the kind of wood I'm looking for right there. Ooh, that's pricey. Of course, they don't want you to see the price tag. Look at that. I don't understand why the lumber price is so high. Why don't you leave me a comment down below and explain to me why that is, boy. What the hell is the world coming to? Ooh, there's a fortune right there. Look at that. This is what it takes to make one set. Ready? All this just to make one set. How do you like them beans, huh? All right, son of Jim, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build the sets to put down into the drift mine. Everything's got to be pre-cut here, and then we'll load it up in the trailer and take it out to the mine site and reassemble it. So you can imagine how much work goes into all this. This ain't no day at the park, boy. Ooh, I hope you ate your Wheaties today because you're going to need it. All right, let's start getting these 4x6s cut up. But I ain't going to do nothing until you smash that like button. That's right. Got to smash it hard. Harder than that, boy. We're gonna go ahead and put that set in, son of Jim. You don't know work till you've been a gold miner hanging timbers. Putting sets in in a shaft, especially when the shaft is deeper than where the sets go. Ooh, to work your metal, boy. All right, so we're gonna hook up and put in the sets so you can see how much labor goes into just one set. 
So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? Ooh, you better. So come on. My name is Jeff. Let's go. All right, Son of Jim, we got a rope secure up to our head frame, and we're gonna use that to tie off on so we can place our first set in. Did you bring your bush baked beans today? I know I did. You wanna see me eat some, huh? <laughs> no? I don't blame you. All right, let's get on to getting it on. Put up here. I'm gonna dig a big hole down in the ground door. Oh, yeah. All right, let's tie it off, sonny boy. I'm tired of jaw jacking. Got work to do, and I ain't got time for all this craziness. Ooh, feels good. All right, let's get these sets in, because they're not going to get themselves in. All right, here we go. Here we go, sonny boy. Oh, thank you. Why don't you just catch up on everything? All right, I got my bag of tools right here. There's the uh, wall plate, another wall plate. Got my hanging bolts in. I just got to put my end plates in right there. Should be good to go. Got my end plates down there in the hoisting bucket. And I got my tools right there. All right. Who needs a gym, Santa Boy? Nice thing about having a shaft sinking bucket or a skip so you can load all your tools and your lumber in there and drop it down in there to hold it for you while you're putting everything together. I got my, my end plates in there and I got my collar braces in there and I got some tools in there and whatnot. So yeah, I think we can get this thing put together today. I don't got the lagging in there yet because that takes up a lot of volume. All right. Let's get this set put in. But before I do, you better smash that like button, son. Smash it hard. All right, let's get these guys out of here. All right, we got our end plates in. These are our wall plates right here. And then this is our hanging bolt, which is all thread. To keep the end plates in, because the wall plates have a tendency to drift out, we're gonna put screws in to hold it temporarily. And then once we get the collar braces in, those are the four by fours that keep the uh, sets apart, we're gonna put dowels, hardwood dowels, up into the lap joint and into the collar brace four by four itself. And that'll lock everything together. Then we tighten down on these hanging bolts and that pulls the whole set up into the, the set underneath it and locks it all together. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. So right now, I'm gonna start putting in some temporary screws, pull it together, and then we'll go ahead and put the collar braces in. Sound like a plan to you, sonny boy? All right, this is our first lap joint right here. I'm gonna go ahead and put a temporary screw in him, and that one and the two behind us. Now before I get started, I wanna give a big shout out to TVR. Or is it TRV? I, I can't never remember the channel's name. But anyway, he's a good old boy. And he explores mines all the time. Everywhere. And he just recently purchased a gold mine in California. And he opened it up. And it's Imshaw approved. I can't believe it. He's got the, the real deal. Full size setup. He's got experienced miners helping him retimber it. So I really have to congratulate him for taking the step up from exploring mines to actually digging mines. And I can't wait to see what he has in store for us. So if you don't know who he is, I'm going to leave a link down below. He's a good old boy. And like I said, he, he's really pushing hard to get that, that gold mine open. And I'm curious to see how much gold comes out of it. So go ahead and check him out. I'm going to go ahead and anchor this one and the other two. And then we'll get the collar braces in. All right. We're using straps to pull these half lap joints together. And that way it's a lot easier. Well, we go to put these guys in right here. You see that? Locks everything in place and makes it nice and tight. So everything bolts together. And I got a couple more I got to put in right here. And I'm going to show you how that's done. I said it once and I'll say it a million times. Who needs a gym? Just be a gold miner, son. One of the hardest jobs in the world. You don't believe me? Come on down here and give me a hand. Oh, I'll work you to the bone. You'll be looking like slim by the end of the day. All right, first thing we're gonna do is loosen up these hanging bolts. Not too much, because I don't want to go for a ride. That way we drop our set just a little bit. And that gives us the room we need between this set 
and this set so we can get our collar brace in. Yeah, I just love that. You work down here by yourself in these mines, things come alive down here. The ropes get wrapped around your legs and your feet and your hands. Your tools get all bound up when they weren't a minute ago. There's little little people running around down here having fun with me. But it's real and they're down here. You don't believe me, come down here work for a day. I guarantee you'll be pulling your hair out and screaming in the night like a madman. All right, so I've loosened it enough where I can get the top one in right there. See that where it fits in nice and snug. And then I got the bottom one in there. Fit nice and snug, you see that? And then what we do is we bolt it together and it locks it in place. All right, we got our vice grips in here to hold this all thread from spinning. I'm running a half inch drive. Just tighten that marker down, oh, nice and tight. This wood is new, so it's a little bit wet. And when it dries, it's gonna shrink. And when it does that, all these bolts are gonna get loose. So you have to go through and periodically tighten them up because if not, you're gonna get a lot of slop in your joints and a lot of slop in your sets. And you don't want that. So just be mindful of that if you put one of these together yourself, this wood is gonna dry out and shrink. All right, I went ahead and saved the last one. I figured we could put it in together. I loosened up my hanging bolt here so I'd have enough room to slide it in, make sure that the pocket that it's gonna sit in is clean. I took my screw out because I don't need it anymore. Because remember, I'm gonna be drilling a hole from the bottom and putting a hardwood dowel in there that goes from this half lap joint all the way up into this guy right here. So we're gonna go ahead and slide him into position. Get him up there. Get him locked in. Then we go ahead and tighten up on the hanging bolt and it'll lock this set together with this set right here. All right, we got the set in. See the collar braces? The joints look really good. Everything's tight. Look at that. Does that look good or what? All ready for the lagging. I got my lagging strips on the back. What we gotta do now is drill our holes for the dowels that go right up through here to lock it all together. So that's what we're gonna do next. And I like using three quarter on my dowels and it's gonna hold those collar braces in place. That way nothing's gonna move. So let's get these muckers in there. There we go. I like using wood glue. When I put my dowels in, it just helps lock everything together. So I'm gonna put a bunch of wood glue on this thing, pound that thing in there. I'm pounding it in the next week, baby. Nice glue stick. Give me some of that glue stick, baby. And we're gonna pound him right into submission. Put in that little hole right there. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's what it should look like. I gotta do the other three. And that marker's locked in tight. That way I know that this thing right here ain't going nowhere. And then I can hang my next set off right here, come down to here, and then we can start timbering this marker off right here as we're driving forward to get that AU. Hey, you guys wanna hear me do my opera man again? Oh, I gotta get her down in the hole and get some RO. Oh yeah. Don't give up my day job. Is that what you're telling me? Stick to gold mining and leave the singing to the experts? What? Oh yeah, that looks real good. Oh, I better move that hammer so it don't land on my head. Give me a headache. All right, son of Jim, you know what's next, right? That's right, we're gonna put the lagging in. Oh, that's all kinds of fun, let me tell you. So you know what I'm gonna say, huh? You gonna say it with me, huh? Come on, say it loud and proud, so come on. Let's go! All right, so I've got most of the lagging brought down. It's a ton of wood. Now, remember those strips that I put on the back of the four by sixes, the wall plates and the end plates? Well, that's to hold the lagging in place. Oh yeah, look at all that lag in there, center boy. I got the shaft sinking bucket filled up too. That's how we get this stuff down there. That's a lot of lumber. And of course, remember those plates I was telling you about? Those plates right there are gonna hold the lagging in place. See that? It's a cheap, easy way to put them in. What video wouldn't be complete 
without a can of bush baked beans. You wanna see me eat some beans, boy? Ah, I know you do, come on now. Where are you going? Oh, come back here. What flavor we got today? I got maple and cured bacon. Oh, maple and cured bacon. You gotta love that. Ah, oh, so good. How could you not like bush baked beans? Come on. That's what miners and prospectors live on. Mm. Oh, that's good. All right, enough of this jaw jacking and bean eating. Let's get on to getting this lag and put in. Because it's not going to put itself in. So you know what I'm going to say, huh? Ooh, you better. So come on. Let's have some beans. No, let's get this lagging in. All right, so the lagging's going to sit on that strip. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Ugh. See how it sits on that strip? Keeps it in place. And that way we can just slide it over to where it needs to go. Just like that. See that? And then what you're going to do is you're going to backfill behind the lagging. You're going to put rocks, dirt, wood, anything you can get back there to put pressure on this lagging. Because you don't want any space between this lagging and all that dirt. You want it to fit as tight as possible. So we're going to cram wood or anything we can find back behind there. All right, I'm going to sit you over there on the shaft sinking bucket while I get this lagging put in. Now remember what I told you. You want to backfill behind that because you don't want any space in between this lagging or any of the sets. It's supposed to block and wedge that in there. Use miner's wedges to hold it in place. You don't want this thing shifting. You don't want the ground shifting in because if you give that ground an inch, it'll take a mile and you don't want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and block and backfill that and then we'll do the rest of them. I'll show you what that looks like. Oh, but before I do that, you better smash that like button, boy. Or if you don't, I'm going to be eating some more beans. Come on, smash it. Smash it hard. Here it comes. I said this once and I'll say it again. Who needs a gym? Just be a gold miner. Ah, not too shabby, huh? It's looking good. Looking good, son of a boy. All right, let me show you what we're doing in case you plan on doing this yourself. All right, what you can do is since your lagging is sitting down on that lower plate, you can put a screw in there, pull your lagging forward, and then put a, a toe screw in there, and then anchor the lagging to the set, just like that. And then what you can do is after that, then you can put in blocking and wedging on the back, and that's gonna hold it in tight until you can do that. It makes it real, real easy for you. Tell you what, a can of beans and some water and some hard tack. I'm going to go the whole day. What's that? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you. What? You say stop eating those beans and get back to work? Sound just like Slim, boy. All right, back to work. I said I'll grab him with the crowbar. I'll pull, then I'll drill, and I'll go to the next one pull, drill. So if you're planning on doing this yourself, that's how I would do it. It's so much faster, so much easier. Just throw the lagging in real quick, button it up and then backfill behind it or block it up and use wedges. It's so much simpler. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice looking lagging, nice set. Everything's tight. Joints look good. There's that metal strip that I was telling you about. See how it's holding that lagging up in place? It's cheap and it works. And then we'll just backfill behind that with blocks of wood. See that? That's not bad, we have to extend the vent pipe down. And then we'll bring in another set and bring it down to right about there. Oh, and speaking of which, take a look at that. See our drift? Yeah, over five feet tall. Yeah, look at that. I can stand up straight in here. 
No more crouching. Then we get an ore cart in here, run it over, dump it into the shaft sinking bucket, hoist it up, and keep on working because this is where the gold is, boy. Woo, but it's hard going. I'll tell you what, I wish I had somebody down here to help me. Any takers? Ha! Nobody wants to come down here. I don't know why. And I hope you get to see how much labor it takes and energy and money to put in one set, just one. You imagine some of these mines that go down 2,000 feet? Oh my gosh, I can't even imagine the labor it took. Huge amounts of manpower, entire forest. I mean, Virginia City is a classic example. It's an entire forest underground. Of course, a lot of it's underwater now. But if you're new here, I want you to subscribe, all right? Because subscribers help the channel grow. And if the channel grows, then we grow. And if we grow, we can put in more timber. We're gonna grow some timber. It was real good down here too. It's only about 70 degrees, about 115 up on the surface. Now while we were advancing this drift, we hit another pocket full of nuggets. That's right. Ooh, I bet you'd like to see what that looks like, wouldn't you, huh? Well, why don't you come with me to the honey pot, boy, and we'll see what's in there. About 70 degrees down here. Ooh, the one place Slim never looks. That's right. One day he'll get wise to me, but Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, greasy bastard. Oh, there's, oh, there's a whole bunch of them down in there. <laughs> That's not a nugget. What the heck is that? Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Ooh, look at them. Yeah, that don't make your blood boil. Nothing will. Got four of them. And I know there's more in there, too. <sighs> I don't know what this thing was. It's dark and it smells funny. <laughs> anyway, we're going to be giving those nuggets away too, just like we give everything else away. You saw that big one that we got out of here last time. Oh, I can't tell you how much it weighed, but it was pretty darn big, son of a boy. Now, most of you already know that we give away all the gold that comes out of this drift mine to our premium patrons, but I'm sure there's a few newcomers here that don't know what the heck is going on. So for those people, I'm gonna educate them and let them know. All right, now for those of you out there that don't know what's going on with this drift mine, allow me to educate you, son. All the gold that comes out of this gold mine goes directly to our premium patrons. It's our way of saying thank you for all their support over the years, because without them, this drift mine wouldn't exist. So we give all the gold nuggets away to them. Now, in order to get your hands on those gold nuggets, all you gotta do is sign up as a premium patron. It's really simple and it's only 10 bucks. You can't beat it. And not only that, but it gives you access to books, t-shirts, three-day gold excursions, the works. And you get to talk to me and Slim anytime you want. Ooh, at least with me, cause Slim's always in the outhouse with a really bad case of mud butt. <laughs> Now this sounds like something you'd like to be a part of. All you gotta do is look for the little icon at the end of the video that looks something like... Ooh, it looks like that! Hey, you greasy bastard! Just click on it, make a $10 pledge, and you're in like Flynn, son of Jim. Alright, son of Jim, well I'm gonna get on out of here. Your day might be over, but mine's just getting started. I got a whole bunch of muck to get out of here. All this stuff's gotta be cleaned up and I got more nuggets to find for you. Oh, and as a bonus, I'm gonna put some bloopers on the end too, just for you, because a lot of you out there said you wanted to see some bloopers. So that's what we're gonna do. So until next time, this is Jeff Williams, and who? A big hole down in the middle of the earth filled with gold nuggets, that's who? Saying you wanna be a gold miner, but you're not sure what to do? Follow my simple steps, sonny boy, and you'll be getting that AU too. Take care, everybody. Oh, now you're talking. All right. Whenever you're putting sets in, remember that if you get the wood, if you get, if you get wood, ha, take four. The dry it's out. Blah, blah. Take six. And then as it dries out, it, 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 it oh. take seven. Because it'll split those dowels in a heartbeat. We like, we yike. Wee yike 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 yike. Come on, work with me here. They work really good. They're gonna hold those half laps together and it's gonna hold those. All right, son of Jim, you know what's next. And uh, all right, now those plates right there. Ooh, yeah, you wanna eat, see me eat? <laughs> and it's in there pretty good.
All right, now for the for some. Take two. 